There are so many study techniques and strategies out there. It is pretty nuts. And many of them are awesome and they work great for some people and they don't work great for other people. In this video, I'm going to explain a strategy which is very, very simple. And then I'm gonna give you the reasons why it works and why you should try it in your life today. It's about being mindful, being self-aware. What are you thinking right now? What are your thoughts doing? How do you feel? Being self-aware can make a huge difference in learning anything, such as mathematics. Improved focus and concentration. Practicing being mindful helps you learn. It does, it makes a big difference because if you practice being self-aware when you're getting ready to study, you're aware of your feelings, you're aware of how you feel at the moment. Do you want to study? What do you want to study? Think about what your thoughts are doing when you're mindful of those thoughts, it makes a huge difference in your performance during your study sessions. Stress reduction. Stress is not good. And the practice of mindfulness, of being self-aware, really helps relieve stress. Math is extremely challenging and it creates a lot of stress because people struggle, they get frustrated, it takes time, it's difficult. When you are self-aware of your thoughts, it makes it easier to manage that stress. Mindfulness can improve your problem solving skills. It helps increase cognitive thinking. Over the long run, the more you practice mindfulness, the better you're gonna get at working and thinking about complex problems. Mathematics, for example, has tons of complex problems. Sometimes the problems can be very, very deep. And so by being self-aware, it really increases your ability to think clearly which is absolutely necessary for learning mathematics. Better emotional regulation. By practicing being mindful, by being self-aware of your thoughts, you are self-aware of your emotions. So when you encounter a roadblock studying a difficult subject, such as mathematics, you can easily overcome that. You can realize that you're struggling. You can tell yourself, hey, I'm having a hard time with this. It's gonna be okay. Maybe I should think about a different approach or maybe I can just come back to it later and move on and focus on something else and then just come back to it later. It creates more effective study sessions. Greater self-awareness is one of the biggest consequences of mindfulness and that translates directly to learning. When you're trying to learn a subject and there's something you don't understand, by practicing mindfulness, by being self-aware, you'll know what you don't understand. You'll be even more aware of it and you'll be more inclined to try to resolve those points of confusion. If you're stuck on something, you'll know why and you'll be able to pinpoint those reasons and then backtrack and learn that mathematics or whatever it is you're learning that you need to learn. Reduced math anxiety. Mindfulness can help you cultivate a non-judgmental, present-focused mindset. So you're able to eliminate or at least help eliminate some of the math anxiety that you're struggling from. Being aware of your emotions and your thoughts has great power over your thinking. Mindfulness has been shown to improve memory retention and recall. That's right. It actually makes you better. It makes you better. It increases your memory and it makes you better at recalling facts, which is huge in mathematics, for example. A lot of times when you're going through more complex math, you want to invoke other math that you've seen in other courses, or maybe you want to invoke some theorems or some propositions. It really makes a difference in anything you're learning because it improves memory retention and recall. Enhanced metacognition. Practicing mindfulness helps improve metacognitive skills, which basically means you're better at thinking about thinking. You're very, very self-aware, which is huge for learning anything because the better you get at thinking about your thoughts, the better you're gonna be about realizing your strengths and weaknesses and about forming more effective study plans and having more effective study sessions. It helps to be self-aware. It's hard to do it all the time, but try. Try to do it before you study, Try to do it while you study. Tell yourself, what am I thinking about? How am I feeling? Am I ready to study? Do I want to study? Why do I want to study? Why don't I want to study? Try to organize your thoughts 
and ask yourself, why am I having these thoughts? How do I really feel? And it's going to make a difference in your life and it's going to help you learn. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there who happens to be watching it. I wanted to make it because I think this is something that most people don't really know and they don't really practice. But try it. Next time you sit down to study anything, math, science, whatever it is, be aware of your thoughts. Be mindful.